My name is Jose Leonardo Leon, and today we'll be talking about the connection between art performance and entrepreneurship with the concept of visualizing, conceiving, believing, and achieving. When the term entrepreneurship, music entrepreneurship, art performance entrepreneurship became into place in today's world and the 21st century, people that have been working on this area for many, many years, for many of us, especially people that started working in this vicinity since we were very young, we didn't know what we were doing. We just knew we were doing something interesting and something cool, but we never put a name on it because we didn't know what name to give it. Then when the entrepreneurial term became something that the business world acquired and actually discover from the arts world, then we discovered that, oh, <laughs> this is what I have <laughs> been doing all this time. Right after. So the relationship started. The relationship that I'm talking about is very simple. When you set up a goal, the first step towards that goal is visualizing. You need to visualize what you want to accomplish whether it is in your career, whether it is in your personal life, whether it is as an instrumentalist or artist on any expertise, area of expertise in our field. Actresses, dancers, visual artists, everyone, musicians, writers. You need to make sure that you know what the future is what you want to be. You need to make sure to create that movie in your mind in which you are the protagonist. Once you create that, then the next step is to conceive it. What is conceiving it? Drawing down the plan. In music, it's called your music business plan. But in other areas, you can call it anywhere you want, but always include the word plan into it because that is basically what we're talking about here, planning. In your conceiving stage is when you have to plan what do you want to do? What is the purpose of what you want to do? How are you going to contribute to your field with what you want to do? This is the most important part, the giving more than the receiving. If you're looking for receiving what I'm going to get out of this, it's going to be very difficult to achieve what you have visualized in the previous step. Instead, when you think of, of contributing, then you're going to attract an audience that is going to engage with you because what you're contributing with may be a beneficial factor in their life and in their career. Once you make your plan, once you plan out what you want to do, then comes the longest step in the four steps that I'm talking about. But it's the most rewarding because it's the one in which we actually learn how to apply what we have visualized and conceived and is the believing factor. Once you start believing, that result comes from the fact that you are hands-on. You're actually creating you are actually planning. You are actually working on what you plan in the previous step. In this area, in this step, in this stage, however you want to call it, in the believing area is when you have to apply and make sure that you rehearse and make sure that you find error and do it again. Another mistake and do it again. But every single error, every single mistake is being another stair in this stairwell to your achievements. They have to be step by step so you're able to move every step at a decent distance. There is no escape. There is no shortcuts. You cannot go and try to jump from one point to another if you don't have the strength to make that jump. So it's better to take it step by step. As you have noticed, this is the point in which I have stated the longest, 
out of the previous two because this is the one that takes the more time. Because it's really hard, if you think about it, to start believing in yourself. But it's the only way you're going to believe in your plan, is the only way you're going to believe in what you visualize, and ultimately is what's going to allow you to believe in others that are going to obtain the contribution that you're giving on the tape. Then becomes the most rewarding one, the achieving. You get to the end of your plan. You achieved your plan. You achieved your goals. You are now working in the field that you wanted to work. Or maybe not. Maybe you're working in a field that through the process of believing became your new goal. Maybe that achievement became another path within the initial path that you visualize. And guess what? It's probably as rewarding or even more, and that's why you stick to it. So this is a discoverable time for all of us. This is the time that we need to spend and to plan in order to achieve those goals. Because the times in which we all apply for the same job, in which 20, 25 years, 30 years ago, were an average of 10, 15 applicants. In current days, we can have up to 100 applicants or more for that same position. And that same position requires certain aspects that not everyone is going to have, or possibly a lot of people are going to have, and that's why it is so hard to choose who the person that is going to get that specific employment is going to get then is when we have to think entrepreneurial because when one person is going to get that job what happens to the other 99 that is when you have to become creative because those 99 have an option or more than an option it's up to you to discover what options are there for you and the only way to do that is visualizing Conceiving, believing, and achieving. So, this is what arts, performance, and entrepreneurship is all about. And the key word here is performance. You have to make sure that you know how do you want to perform. And at some point, you're going to teach. And in order to teach performance, in order to inspire others, that's a form of teaching. In order to be a role model for others, that's another, role, that's another form of teaching. You need to make sure that you know your craft, you're happy with your craft, because at the end of the day, that is what you want to teach. Happiness. You want to teach achieving goals. You want to teach your students to become as entrepreneurial as they can be by discovering who they are as performers on any kind. It doesn't necessarily have to be an instrument. A writer is a performer. He's creating. A filmmaker is a performer. He's creating movies. He's creating content. He's performing. An actor definitely is a performer. A dancer is a performer. A creative mind is a performance mind. So this is when all of this come together. And this is what we are going to use to determine what our future is going to be and what the future of music and art education is going to be. We're heading to a new era. We're in a post-pandemic era. We need to adapt to it which bring me to the term adaptability. <laughs> so let's adapt to the new era by being who we are, developing who we are, and become the best version of ourselves in what we do. This has been Jose Leonardo Leon, and I hope this you find something very meaningful here. If you need any more information, make sure to like, subscribe, stay tuned to all my videos, 
in the masterclass section in my website, www.joseleonardoleon.com. Or you can also direct all your questions and inquiries to my contact information within the website. For now, until we meet again, take care.